stainless steel 200 series and the 300 series. And I'll do a quick demonstration. I like to lay it out on a sheet of paper. And here's two metals. And we'll make believe one of them is a 200 series and one is a 300 series. But you want to find out which one is which. I like to work on a piece of aluminum foil. I attach the electro spot to the foil. I'm going to clip on like that. So first I'll do the manganese test and I'm, I'm reading, I have my instruction manual right next to, right next to me. Um, solution one and some fiber test papers. So I put a fiber sheet on the metal and a drop of solution one. 10 seconds, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You estimate about the same amount of time for each metal. So, so the metal on the left here gave me a really bright pink spot. The metal on the right, a little bit pink, it's more of a peach color. So I would say this one is positive, much more positive for manganese. This one, not so much. Let's move on to the next test. Uh, I'm doing the nickel test. I use 0100 test papers. Solution number three. And only says one second according to the instruction manual. One second. One second. Without a doubt, this one gave me a positive test for nickel. And this one, there's a little bit of a, a pink but it's really not the same as that. And that's the way to do this test. You're looking for one is truly more brilliant than the other. So this would be get the positive sign. This is negative and this one's negative. So from this data, I can tell that this would be the 200 series. It's high in manganese, low in nickel, and this would be the 300. Let's take a look. This is 200. And this is 300 because the 300 is very high, much higher in nickel and the 200 is higher in manganese. And here's the proof. This one says 304 stainless steel. So I'm correct. Thank you for watching.